Let's talk Looney Tunes news, since after all they are owned by Warner Brothers and Warner Brothers animation has been going through quite a tumultuous time. I probably don't need to explain to you the whole drama that is David Zaslav and all sorts of reshuffling as they did with the likes of Batgirl getting cancelled and Scoob the Holiday Haunt as a Halloween Christmas special being removed and that being a whole shebang. But alongside those obvious main frontline issues, there is also a side project of a pretty famous IP you might know of that's been going through all sorts of changes and announcements lately. That of course being the Looney Tunes. And since most of that drama happened, what, a year or two ago, we're now coming off to the other side of it with some more concrete news of what is and maybe what isn't so much cancelled. And the main thing we're talking about today is the recent news of the officially confirmed theatrical release of Looney Tunes, The Day the Earth Blew Up. Oh, apparently actually it's The Day the Earth Blew Up, a Looney Tunes movie. But you know, same thing. Never before have we actually had a Looney Tunes movie. Yes, we've had a collection of shorts that are vaguely spliced together with some new animation. Yes, we've had all sorts of live action hybrids with the likes of Space Jam, Space Jam 2, and Back in Action, which is my personal favorite. I love the shading and the shadows in that movie. Mwah, it's a childhood dream. But never before have we actually gotten an original original Looney Tunes movie. Fully animated, only with the characters in the Looney Tunes universe and no basketball stars in the limelight. This is a first for Looney Tunes and is clearly kind of needed considering this is like the original IP and yet it's not nearly as relevant as it used to be. Looney Tunes is a very interesting case study of how to successfully and unsuccessfully continue a franchise, especially into the super long term. That being said, the franchise is very far from dead. There are all sorts of spin-offs and spins of the format, usually in TV format. I mean, there's all sorts of childhood ones. I remember like Tiny Toons, there was like a superhero series they made once, and I'm sure there's all sorts of millions of things going on from like every different character. In fact, on top of the day the earth blew up, there's also been confirmation that all sorts of other Looney Tunes movies have survived, such as Bye Bye Bunny, which is specifically about the dying element of this super long-term franchise and saying a goodbye to Bugs Bunny. Even though it's also kind of going to be a revival, it's a whole thing, whatever. The day the Earth blew up we're specifically going to focus on because it's the one with the latest piece of news and some actual things to hop off of and talk about. The main announcement is the fact that not only is it actually being made, it is getting a full theatrical release set for 2024. It is actually really, really soon. And we know all sorts of details about the production team and some nice references to go along with them. For example, the actual main protagonist in this are Daffy Duck and Porky Pig. Not just your classic Bugs Bunny, which is interesting in its own right, but also we've already seen these two as a duo in shorts on HBO Max. There is a whole other other TV series on HBO Max of Porky Pig and Daffy Duck going through, you know, antics. These are the same team making this full theatrical movie, which is brilliant. There is also confirmation that Petunia Pig from the original Looney Tunes cast is making an appearance, but we don't know about anybody else. And with a trailer presumably fairly imminent, let me tell you some of the details of the plot of this movie anyway. Now according to this, due to a series of antics at the Bubblegum Factory, Daffy Duck and Porky Pig discover a secret alien plot to take over the Earth via mind control. The duo must work together to stop the aliens while trying to avoid driving each other insane. Very classic Looney Tunes story and one with a very interesting format. We've seen some exclusive clips of animation while it's still being made and one physical frame of fully animated stuff. I'm afraid I'm showing you footage from the HBO series instead for most of this. But it potentially shows a new direction for the Looney Tunes franchise. I know I'm usually one that likes calling out for original IPs and all that stuff, but Looney Tunes is an interesting direction in the far other end of the spectrum for being the most archaic IP there is but also one that's kind of mistreated and one I'd kind of like to see more successful than it is, you know? Less Space Jam 2 and more something new. Now this movie has been going through quite a tumultuous development. First being announced as existing back in September of 2021, before all sorts of Warner Brothers animations reshuffling, you know? The writer we have attached to this movie is Kevin Costello, who was the person behind the live action hybrid animated movie Tom and Jerry film, which is a... Uh, I guess an accolade, as well as Pete Browngart returning as executive producer and director from the Looney Tunes cartoons, which, you know, good. 
And though the title we now know is The Day the Earth Blew Up, a Looney Tunes movie, it used to be Bubble Brain. Because everyone's bad at marketing animated movies these days. Before that, it was then The Day the Earth Blew Up, a Looney Tunes movie again. It, it had a weird <laughs> middling stage, apparently. Adolescence is weird, even for movies. Originally set to just be released on HBO Max and the Acme Night block on Cartoon Network, however, in August of 2022, it was updated to no longer be Cartoon Network and HBO Max, but instead being shopped around to other streaming services until we come to the modern day where actually, no, it's getting a full theatrical release. And then it was later announced that GFM Animation will distribute the film internationally. Expected to release in Q2 of 2024, that can mean all sorts of things, but it's very much going forwards in production in a way that a lot of movies maybe didn't back in those awkward Warner Brothers times. From here, it's clear that Looney Tunes has somewhat survived all the reshuffling and CEO mistreatment of practically every other IP that HBO and Warner Brothers owns. But then that does also beg the question for the other theatrical movies coming out from the Looney Tunes era. We do still have Bye Bye Bunny, but there's also that Wiley Coyote vs. Acme movie, which I talked about at one point as a cancelled production because it also is supposedly coming out soon, but um, there's no, like, it's, there's no footage, there's no trailers, there's no, it's very interesting. This could very well just be a Warner Brothers thing. This could just be a Looney Tunes thing, but they have all these things in production and they're not going to advertise it until the very last minute because it's such a massively iconic IP. Maybe it doesn't need that long of a marketing scheme. I don't know, but um, it's very much going on and it is a first for the Looney Tunes IP to get a full theatrical movie that is just them, hasn't actually happened in 90 to 100 years, which is incredible to think of. And I guess it makes sense considering it's all animation and in the olden days fully drawn, but Disney did it. So either way, this could very much open up to a whole new era of Looney Tunes if it all does successfully. Space Jam 2 might have been only somewhat of a success story, depending on your perspective in regards to quality, let alone box office. But if these movies do well, this could very much open up to Looney Tunes being back at the forefront again. Not just as TV series cartoons, but for everyone to experience on the full screen. And though I'm usually quite against just repeating the same old IPs again and again, I can't say that I'm not at least intrigued to see where the Looney Tunes saga may go from here. Imagining a movie also held without the staying power of Bugs Bunny is interesting in his own- Maybe he's actually retiring. And, and will only the other characters make an appearance. Who knows? Either way, HBO and Warner Brothers are doing something. And though I'm sure they're going to make all sorts of terrible corporate decisions still, David Zaslav is still there. But at least on this note, maybe there's a sign of hope for this age-old franchise from all of our childhoods, no matter what generation you're from. For now, though, I'd best end it off here, and I'll dissect the hell out of any of these once a trailer actually releases. For now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.